How's it hanging, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite episodes of Barry. So this is a show similar to Succession or even better call Saul and Breaking Bad. It doesn't have a bad episode. I actually like every single episode of the show. So it was pretty difficult to come up with a top 10. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm fairly confident in this list that I came up with because I genuinely love a lot of these episodes. So yeah. Without further ado, let's just get on into this. So at number 10, I have season three, episode seven, Candy Asses. This is the episode, of course, where after Barry is poisoned, he has this basically, you know, near-death experience and weird, trippy hallucination where he's on this beach with all the previous people he's killed, including Chris, you know, from season one, which was really cool to see. And I don't even think Barry even, like, speaks in this episode, or if he does, it's very little. And you really just get to see what's happening through, you know, Bill Hader's emotions and stuff. You don't really get to see him talk, which is just really cool. And overall, the episode's very trippy and dreamlike, obviously, which I just really love. And I think this is also the episode in which Sally kind of has that, you know, screaming fit at Natalie in the elevator, which is pretty funny. It was a h hilarious scene at the time, but obviously, you know, Natalie recorded that moment, so... It does come and kind of bite Sally in the ass, but it was kind of funny the first time I saw it. So yeah, overall, just a really solid episode, and uh, I like it a lot. So moving on to number nine, I have season two, episode four, What? Yes, this is probably one of the best endings to an episode uh, where you think Barry is finally going to be caught in the hotel room, but then Detective Loach says that he wants Barry to actually kill his ex-wife's boyfriend. What? Literally. Uh, it's just so crazy and unexpected. It's one of the best, like, twists in the show. But that's not the only reason I love the episode. You also have a fantastic scene with uh, Barry and Cousino, and it's where Barry obviously tells him that he killed an innocent person when he was back in Afghanistan, uh, kind of accidentally, but that was just a really heavy moment. And without a doubt, yeah, just one of the best scenes between uh Cousineau and Barry in the in the whole show so anyways moving on to uh number eight I have season four episode four it takes a psycho my personal favorite episode of the final season this episode really reminded me why I love the show so much I did a whole review for it so if you want to check that out you can you know check that out on the channel but you know, of course, you have the scene where Krista Ball meets his demise, and Anthony Kerrigan's performance in this episode, the actor who plays Noho Hank, was just great. It really was an amazing performance where, you know, he's just begging for Krista Ball not to leave. And when Krista Ball finally, you know, is killed, it's just so heartbreaking, man. Really sad moments. I love Krista Ball and Hank's relationship, and it was so sad that it had to end that way. And this is interesting because this episode, you know, Barry's hardly in it until the very end. And then it has that weird time skip that was just absolutely shocking and confusing, to be honest, at the time. But, yeah, it's just a fantastic episode. I absolutely love it. So that's number eight. At number seven, I have season three, episode six, 710 North. This episode has probably the best action sequence or at least chase sequence in the show. Uh, where Barry's on the motorcycle getting chased on the freeway, and then he comes across all those cars in traffic. And I love how there's not, like, you know, any intense music playing. It's just the sound of the motorcycle, and then you can also hear him, you know, swooshing by all the cars. And even the little bits of uh, radios in the, in the cars, which is pretty cool. I just love the sound design in this episode. And, yes, the whole way that sequence was filmed, really genius stuff. It, it was so entertaining. And then... At the end of this episode, Barry even gets poisoned, which is just another incredible ending to an episode. I remember being so kind of frustrated actually seeing the end of this episode because I wanted to see what happened next. Um, but yeah, love this one. It is really, really good. At number six, though, I have season three, episode eight, starting now. This is the season three finale. And you have a really good scene in here where uh, Albert confronts Barry and you think Albert might kill him, but then he says, I'm not going to kill you, but this killing has to stop starting now, which is just a great you know, callback because that's what Barry has been saying throughout the entire series. And Bill Hader's performance in that scene where you know he's just on his knees crying, not wanting to die. It was like, oh my gosh, this is really great. And also Sally uh, kills someone, Shane, I think his name was, 
where she just goes to town on him, uh, beats him to death. It's just uh, an absolutely crazy scene. And then to cap things all off, Barry gets tricked by Kusuno and finally gets arrested at the end. And yeah, another insane ending to an episode. There's a lot of insane endings uh, for the episodes, but that one in particular was uh, really good as well. But at number five, I have season one, episode seven, chapter seven, loud, fast, and keep going. Yeah, do you guys remember when season one had chapters in their episode titles? Oh man, the show changed a lot. Uh, but yeah, this is the episode where Barry kills Chris. It's probably, you know, the saddest scene in the show. At least, well, one of the saddest scenes. There's a lot of sad scenes in this show. But, you know, Chris definitely did not deserve to die. They make that abundantly clear in the episode. And when Barry actually, you know, shoots him, it, it's gut-wrenching stuff. You know, it really is just absolutely tragic and then you see Barry kind of being so broken up about it that he's kind of able to give that great performance with Sally you know uh, at the theater and that was a really good moment as well and this is definitely like the first time we see Barry you know he's I really think he's kind of irredeemable at this point when he kills Chris and actually goes through with that just to save himself from going to jail that really is the first time we see Barry become irredeemable, in my opinion. Or at least I feel like that's what the writers and everyone involved with the show was trying to, uh, you know, say with this episode. But yeah, it's, it's a really good one overall. Anyways, at number four, I have season two, episode eight, Berkman, Greater Than Block. Is that how you would pronounce the episode title? Anyways, this is the season two finale where Barry just kind of goes on a killing spree in the monastery and he's trying to get to Fuchs so he can kill him. But then he just kind of mows everyone else down, which especially, you know, all the kids he trained was that was that was sad when he had to kill all of them. Um, yeah, that was messed up. And, you, you know, Bill Hader in this episode, again, just great performance, him yelling for Fuchs. And then we have Fuchs actually reveal to Kusuno that Barry is the one who killed Janice and Gene kind of snaps out of that, you know, shocked state at the very end of the episode and remembers what Fuchs told him. And yet again, a great ending to an episode and an incredible cliffhanger. Yeah, it just blew my mind. But yeah, I really love this episode. Good stuff. At number three, I have season one, episode eight, chapter eight, Know Your Truth. This is the one where, you know, Barry has to kill Janice. Well, he doesn't have to kill Janice, but it's, to, you know, it's obviously what he decides to do. And it sucks because everything was going so good. You know, they were at Gene's cabin and, you know, Barry and Sally, they were together and everything was nice and happy. And then Janice figures out that Barry was the one on the dash cam in that, you know, picture that she has. And it's just like, oh no, it's absolutely tragic to be honest. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, really sad moment. And also, I think, uh, what was his name? Garan dies in this episode. Yeah, that was uh, a crazy scene as well. And yeah, I just really love this uh, kind of end to the first season. But anyways, at number two, I have season one, episode one, chapter one, make your mark, the pilot. And I think this is kind of a hot take. I don't think many people would put this one, especially this high on the list. But I love this episode. I feel like I've talked about it a few times, uh, especially in my Barry Seasons Ranked video. But I love the pilot. It's just a fantastic introduction to the series. And this episode hooked me right away. Like, something you guys need to know is that this is genuinely one of the best pilots of, to a TV show I've ever seen, at least in my opinion. It hooked me immediately. All the characters were interesting and fun. And the scene at the end where Barry kills that sniper in the car that's in uh, with NoHo Hank. And... He's just like, don't point that gun at me. And it's just so good. And, oh, man, it was just really intense, to be honest. I love that ending scene. And it's just a fantastic episode. It was, a, again, great introduction to the show, which uh, was, you know, it's a very important episode for the series. And I don't know, I just really love it a lot. But an episode I love even more than this one is, of course, my number one spot, season two, episode five, Ronnie Lilly. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a basic episode to put at number one simply because it's basic in the sense that everyone loves this episode. You know, everyone claims it's pretty much the best Barry episode, but for good reason. It's an absolutely crazy episode, and it's it's kind of like a bottle episode. You know, we don't ever see Ronnie or Lily ever again in the entire show, um, which, you know, that especially Lily because I she's... 
you know, is she even human? What was she doing? It's just crazy stuff. And yeah, it was just really fun overall, this episode. It was absolutely crazy. It's also a really good episode for Fuchs and Barry's relationship. Um, yeah, I just really loved their dynamic in the episode. And it's just such a fun episode overall. I love it. It's a masterpiece. It truly is. And that final fight, like, at the uh, grocery store was just insane. But, yeah, there you guys go. Those are my top ten favorite episodes of Barry. Let me hear your favorite episodes down in the comments below. Super curious to see what you guys have to say. Um, yeah, but I really love all these episodes. I pretty much love every episode of the show. So, kind of difficult to do, but still fun. But, yeah, post your thoughts and comments down below. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my letterboxed and Twitter down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.